Once you enrol in my free course, Starter Guide to DIYing Your Bakery Branding and Website, I will admit it's a little bit of a mouthful, you'll be taken to this course curriculum page. So I wanted to kind of run through how this works and what's included, just so you've got an idea of the value that you'll get when you enrol and how awesome it is that it's completely free. And I think you'll learn some really valuable tools for your bakery in terms of marketing yourself, connecting with your ideal customers. So it's split into four sections. You can choose to work your way through chronologically, or you may see a lesson here that sounds particularly interesting and you can just dive right in. I'll just run through kind of chronologically so you can see everything that's included. There's some hidden gems in here, some extra downloads that you'll get to really help you. So I just wanted to make sure everything was clear. So the first couple of lessons are just to let you know who I am and what you are going to learn in this course. The first section is going to be about branding your bakery. So what you'll get is this worksheet that you can either download, if you just scroll down, you'll be able to download the PDF or just use it on screen as a reference. And it's going to help you identify what types of customers you really would like to work for. Uh, maybe what types of bakes are going to suit you best and then how or how you're going to kind of market your business specifically for that product and for those customers. The end goal of this worksheet is to have a mission statement for your bakery that really sums up exactly what you do and who you do it for. So you could kind of succinctly tell somebody exactly what your bakery does. Then we've got a couple of video lessons. If I just pause that here which is going to introduce you to this tool called Canva, which is a free design tool that you can use to create any kind of graphic, but specifically for social media posts. And what we're going to learn is how to create a style guide for your video, for your business. Below here, we've got a couple of links just to Canva's own tutorials, but it's a completely free tool and everything I show you in these, these videos can be utilized on the free version of Canva. There is a paid option, but you can do so much with the free version. So in the following lesson, we've got a video on creating your own style guide. So that's what you'll see here. And that's going to really help guide you when you're creating any kind of graphic material for your bakery. It will let you know kind of the vibe of your bakery with the images. So whether you're kind of fun and colorful, classic and elegant, rustic, um, extravagant and out there, whatever it may be, these images will kind of act as the initial visual guide. And then from there, we'll create a color palette and we'll pick a couple of fonts. Consistency in your visuals is the best way to create brand recognition so that people will remember who you are whenever they see you either out at a fair or online on social media, when they come across your website, whatever it may be. So having this style guide is going to really be your kind of reference your North Star when creating any branding. What you'll get with this video is a link here which will take you to a Canva template that I've created. Again, works completely on the free version of Canva. You'll be able to just click use template and you'll have access to this within your own account. We just got a little link here back to that previous lesson in case you missed it. Then we move on to the website section. And similarly, we start with this PDF, which just walks you through the planning process for your website. It asks you what pages you think you might need, what content is going to really help your help tell your customers exactly what you do in your business, how they can order from you and really just build a structure for your website. Even if you decide to work with a designer in the future, I think this will help you get an idea for how they will work which will just put you in a better position of understanding what they'll need from you when you get to that stage. So we talk about mapping your site, designing the structure of your pages, and then gathering all that information together. Again, we move on to a couple of videos after that. The first is me just chatting through the pros and cons of working with a designer or DIYing. Then we touch on essentials for your homepage, just to make sure you're conveying all of the most important information to your customers. 
And finally, in the website section, tools you can add into your website that will make your website really powerful for your business. It won't just be something static that sits there looking pretty. It'll actually make running your business easier. So whether it's an online shop, schedulers, contact forms, uh, membership areas, password protected pages, there's so much you can do within a website that will actually make your life easier, make the experience for your customers so much better and more memorable. So we talk about all of that good stuff in this video. The final section is just really quick and it talks over some of the tools I've mentioned within the course, links so you can test them out for yourself. And then finally, I just chat through what my Squarespace website templates look like, how that will work for you. If you do decide to purchase them, the tutorial videos that go along with my templates are set up using this exact same course format that you've just gone through. So that'll be really familiar to you. And we run through all of the customizations in these little bite-sized videos so you can learn how to use the platform and customize your own website. The final lesson is just a little 20% discount off my templates, which you can access at the link here. So hopefully you think signing up for this free course is a no-brainer. If you have any questions about it, please just drop me an email and I would love to get back to you.